most of you are thinking, like, I've gone through things and seen things and, and heard things and dealt with things that, that you could not put in one of these buckets. Like, there's not enough water for these buckets to hold the weight of the things I've done and the things I've said and the things I've been through. And you're right. But, but here's the thing. God doesn't call us to fill up buckets. He calls us to fill up barrels. Barrels and barrels and, and barrels and barrels. And bring it to his grace. Because for every one of these barrels we could fill up, there's an infinite amount of barrels that we could fill up and slap the word grace on the front to represent the suffering and the pain of this world. God knows that what we carry around is not simply a two-gallon painter's bucket full of water. But he knew enough to know, and he knows enough to know, that, that his grace would never run out and that there would never be a spot that his grace wouldn't go for you and that there would never be a spot where his grace wouldn't run to you. And he knew that there would never be a spot that his grace couldn't cover for you. If only we'll bring it to him. If only we'll, we'll come to grace, not for a transaction and not for a ticket into something, but to experience grace. That's why Jesus said these words. Jesus said, uh, come to me, all of you who are weary and, heavy la and have heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart and you will find rest, rest for your souls. W will you find a way out of all of your problems? No. Will you find a way out of all of your suffering? No. W will all the weight that you carry just be gone? No. Come to me. I will teach you. I will redirect you. He'll point us to his grace. Paul ends this letter saying this to the church. I think it's really powerful. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Because the lasting impact of us resetting as a church is that we would see Jesus. That, that we would see his grace, that, that we would recalibrate in, that we would refocus in on what ultimately matters, that we would believe and we would live that grace is all we need. Because weakness infused with God's grace always leads to strength.